Welcome. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Today we're making rockin' birds. They will go on our nest that you made last week. So you need to get some paper, something to draw with, some scissors, maybe even some glue. And a stiffer paper would work the best. That way they would stand up taller and rock better with a stiffer paper. So maybe you could get a little cardboard even, a thin cardboard, might be perfect. How about a cardboard from a cereal box or a note card? That might be awesome. You're going to need something to trace a circle as well. So uh, think about a circle that's not tiny I've got different size circles for birds at school. These are made by second graders. This one here was second grade. I did them with all different grade levels. So I am going to get a paper and this might be good for a circle tracer. I'll make a small bird right now. I want you to make at least one for your project tracing around so make a circle and add a beak and a tail triangle straight across that could be a beak maybe I'll make a long tail because I like rocking it with a long tail it makes it easier and you could even put a dash line in the middle like I did or just fold them in half. So you don't need to put a dashed line. I do want to make wings, wings, two wings on both sides. One, two. So this bird will be symmetrical. It will show symmetry. You could make separate googly eyes that you glue on. I made twinkles in the eyes there and I glued that on. For this one, maybe I will add some big eyes right to the bird, to each side of the bird, to make it quicker. But I do want you to take some time at home. Art class is 55 minutes. So you should be taking some time and showing me third grade work your projects at home for virtual school so I'm making twinkles in the eyes right now by leaving some plain circles and coloring around the circles I do like these pop-up eyes everybody did that at school we just glued one to each side at the top remember balance will be important for this bird so think about that if you get too much weight on one side it will lean forward or lean backward too much. So we have to make it balance. When it was leaning forward, sometimes for students, I had them glue on a little triangle paper to the tail to, to make it even. And I put a little more weight on the other side. I want to color my bird now. I think I will use some rainbow crayons and... Maybe I'll even use the side of the crayon. You can make any kind of bird you want. Use your imagination. I want you to color and uh, make it fancy. Make it fancier than I'm about to do right now. I need to keep my video short for you. So I'm using cool colors. Maybe I'll use the side of some different crayons with cool colors. Ooh, I do want a hot colored beak though. And my tail could be kind of different. Maybe I'll do something different for my tail. What should I do here? I've got a bright white crayon. Maybe I'll put some stripes on. You know what? I'm going to go with that idea and add patterns with a bright white I happen to have an oil pastel. Cool. I love that bright white, how it pops on this construction paper from the nest 
from Sudiksha. She's an awesome new artist at Orchard Hills. Okay, I'm about ready to cut it out. So I want to see maybe three at least, three birds that will go on top of your um, nest. So let's make a family of birds. You can even add to the background too. I see a rainbow, awesome clouds, um, different leaves, a branch, make bugs, a butterfly, ladybugs crawling around, and scissor safety. Remember, point those scissors away from you, turn the paper around with your free hand, and do a nice job cutting. The rounder it is at the bottom, that means it will rock better. So I'm going to fold this in half. You can make different size birds with larger circles. I don't want just a few tiny birds. I want to see some that are about the size of your hand and bigger. So I'm folding it in half by pinching, lining up the edges, and I'm pressing really hard on the table. The bottom, that's the important part here, needs to line up. You might do a little trimming to even up different parts. There we go. It's working. I've got a rocking bird. You can look up bird sounds on YouTube. I had birds tweeting and eating um, videos of birds that were tweeting and eating bird seed on a deck from YouTube. They're actually videos that my cat watches too. I pull them up to show my cat. You could search video for cats. Or you could play some music like Rock and Robin by the Jackson 5. Hey, hey. Okay, have a great day, everybody. Really do the job. I'm looking for something extraordinary. This is a cute one, too. You can make a video showing me your rocking birds in motion. You could also just show me a uh, still picture of your birds. Look at this. Look how cool. Rainbow birds by second grade. They did the job, baby. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing what you create today. Happy rock and bird day in art. This is kinetic art, moving art. Take care.